Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be building a medieval fortress in Minecraft and defending it from some pillagers. I'm super excited, let's get started. I want to show you my process. So to begin, we are going to be starting just like any other build, planning out a structure. I want to have quite a variety of buildings in this fortress and even a few on an angle and a big curved wall right at the front. Getting these features in early and establishing a plan helps me stay consistent throughout the entire building process. Now let's talk about why I'm building it like this. Pillagers in Minecraft are not the smartest. If you put a village and surround it by a too high wall, they literally can't get in. Even if I poke a hole in the back of the wall, they don't know to pathfind there. I'm not sure why they've been made like this, but they just can't. They're kind of silly. So in my fortress, I'm going to be adding two entrances. That way the pillagers will be able to find their way in and have a actual chance. But of course, I'm going to lay out a few traps for them. Now let's talk about our fortress and how we are going to detail it, because above all else, I do want it to look pretty. Going to be starting with those classic basic stone walls, hanging a banner off the side and having lots of those little assets poking off of every wall. In the back, we have this big diagonal building, and this roof was actually probably the most challenging part of this entire build. I really am not good at diagonal roofs. This one worked out, but I had to go back and do some adjusting later on. It's always just a little awkward to work with the blocks like this. Every fortress needs a tall tower so that we can look out over the entire area that we are defending. And of course, that's going to be the function of this tower. Now, over on this side, we're going to be going for a much more complicated roof. I haven't done one of these in a long time, but basically you just put like four cylinders, one on each corner, do a pretty basic roof, and then in the center you just have a normal like triangle house. When you put all of those pretty basic components all squished together on one tower, they do look pretty fancy and I really love the addition. Off to the side, we've got a few more details. Here's that extra entrance that I was referring to earlier to give the pillagers just a little extra chance to get in and give me something extra to defend. And now our front wall. Details like this for me are very important and I was also trying to think about how I was going to actually defend this. I wanted a good area where I would be able to tuck away and hide whenever I needed to, but still shoot my arrows down at the enemy. And that's the function that this wall is going to serve. Of course, the layout on the interior is super important too, and this is something that I've been practicing a lot. Over the last few months, I've been trying really hard to get a lot better at these smaller details. It's a lot harder than it looks. Surprisingly, I find building these large-scale builds a lot easier than doing the small little intricate interiors and details. So working on this has been super important to me. Here we have a bridge going up. I tried a couple different designs with this one, but settled on a fairly simple wooden bridge. And then I can begin on those all important interior details. Not before adding a custom tree or two, of course. The interior of this build is definitely the most important part because that's where we're going to be defending from. So it has to be perfect. And speaking of, let's go see it. It's perfectly fine for me to show you a quick three minute time lapse of me building this castle and have that be the end of the time lapse section and go straight into defending. But that's really not realistic to how this process actually goes. Let me show you what I am struggling with in this moment. So a castle like this at this stage from the exterior looks perfectly fine. I focus the exterior first because that's what shows up well on camera and I try to sort of think about the interior as I'm going, but in reality, the interior gets left behind. Let me show you what I mean. Right, walking in here. Nothing important, nothing that crazy. You can kind of still walk around this entire area. It's not overly interesting, but you can do it. Come to another door. Well, this is not very useful now, is it? So what I've kind of got to do as I'm going through here is break through these walls. Look, there's another set of doors up here. That's probably kind of important. We kind of want to be able to go up there and defend. We want to be able to get up onto this roof, don't we? We'd like to be able to do that. That'd be cool for defending, but we can't right now. What's through this wall? Oh, look, another door. <laughs> What's in here? Oh my gosh, it's a hallway. Yeah, this is a mess. It's horrible. 
The inside of a building after I go crazy on just the exterior details, it makes no sense. Let's take this room as an example. How am I going to get from here to that door all the way up there? That's way too many blocks to just do a staircase and ladders are kind of lame when you have them all over the place. They, they don't look that fun and they're not fun to just go up and down and I don't want to do water elevators in my medieval fortress. That's not that fun either. So how am I going to get up there? I've got this corridor in here that I could kind of work with, and I've also got this staircase that takes us up here. Now at this stage, we're kind of like halfway there. Let's, let's just see where we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the ceiling is kind of right by these doors, and if I can get to this level, then that'll probably be fine, right? So what I'm going to end up doing is actually breaking a path right here and I'll build some stairs up going here and then I'll cut this room up. So I'll bring this wall up and I'll bring a wall across right around here. And when you're walking into this room, you won't know that it used to be this big open thing. You'll just see the way that I've sectioned it off. Sectioning off your interior in this way is super powerful when you've got big spaces like I've got here. It's gonna be so important to making this a manageable space and having enough rooms to actually decorate. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do all of this fantastic detailing right now and let you guys skip over all of that. Hope you've enjoyed this brief tour of the unfinished interior. Now, let's go see the finished product, shall we? Alright everyone, it is officially time to attempt to defend this fortress. I'm really excited to attempt this. I don't know how it's going to turn out because I didn't test it, if I'm being honest. <laughs> All I've been doing this morning is trying to light things up and other than that, I've not tried anything. But there's so many traps set and I'm really nervous to set them off myself or if the villagers are going to walk on one accidentally. I don't know what's going to happen. If you would like to try this for yourself, the link is going to be down in the description. So long as you have Java Edition Minecraft, you can load up this world and defend it all by yourself or with friends if you would like to. I'm gonna do it by myself because I, I think that'll be fun, right? Okay, so I have some very basic gear on. As you can see here, it's pretty much all protection one. I do have feather falling on my boots. We've got a sharpness one sword. What I've done is I've actually hidden items all around the fortress. So you're going to be able to, as you're going around and trying to fight this raid, find different items and different chests to kind of upgrade your gear as you're going. Because the raid party upgrades, I figure it's only fair that we can upgrade. I'm excited to see if that works out, to see if I have time, to see if I just panic completely. Let's get started, shall we? I'm gonna give myself the effect bad omen, uh, just to speed this process up a little bit. There's the command if you wanted to give it to yourself. Pretty simple one, you can tap it all in. Now, once I enter that gate right there, the raid will begin. I'm so nervous, <laughs> oh my gosh. I didn't realize I was gonna be nervous. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, there's the bar, there's the bar, okay. They're ringing the bell. They're ringing the bell. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, oh, I just walked into my own trap. I already walked into my own trap. I'm so dumb. <laughs> oh no. Okay, I'm not sure where they're going to spawn. I feel like it's a good idea to get up high, right? So I can get a good view of where they're going to be. Does this poison ever end? Oh, that was a mean trap that I just set. Okay, oh, I see them. I see them. Oh my goodness. I suck with a bow. I suck with a bow so badly. Luckily, they shoot themselves, <laughs> so it works out. Oh my gosh, okay. Are there any more of them over here? There are. I'm gonna get on that lower wall and see if that helps out. This lower wall is a lot less protected, but it makes it a little easier for shooting at them. Or at least I hope it does. Oh look, there's the captain. Excuse me, sir. Thank you, thank you. Okay, let's see if I can get the next one. This first party is not that great, so I'm not worried about being down here. Oh, he had a really good bow. Okay. Oh, that seemed like it went well, right? I feel like it went well. Let's go over here and kind of upgrade our arrows with some slowness. I feel like that'll be nice. And, um, well, maybe we should get back up on the wall. Okay, the party should have spawned. Whoa, it spawned right out front. Oh my gosh. Um... Got you. 
we go Here we go this is working out so well i can tuck behind these if i need to but honestly i haven't even needed to because they can't shoot this high if i was on the lower wall i would probably need to okay i can't see anymore oh my gosh they got inside how did you get in here oh no i hope you didn't kill any villagers oh okay well my villagers look okay what have I got in here? Oh, spectral arrows? Okay, I'm gonna take a spectral arrow, actually. And let's just check on our villagers up here while that raid spawns. Hello? Is everyone doing okay? What have we got? What have we got? Oh, a helmet! Okay, perfect. I'll upgrade my helmet right now. Let's just head out here and see if we can see. I'm gonna have to climb up on top of my castle. Probably not what these are meant for, but that's okay. Whoa, I don't see anything. It should have spawned by now. I'm going to go below on the entrances instead of looking up here. Excuse me. Pardon me. Kind of low-key panicking. Where's it going to be? Where's it going to be? <gasps> Whoa! Are you going to come in? Come on. Come on in. Yes! Triggered the poison. Perfect. Perfect. Look! That's perfect. My trap worked. Oh no, the Ravenger, the Ravenger, the Ravenger. I feel like I'm gonna need another trap for this. That's better. This is perfect. You can't even get to me. Okay. Brilliant. Now, where are the other ones? I'm a little worried about my villagers. I'm gonna go up here. What if they got inside again while I was doing that? That's not good. That's not good at all. But there are some TNT traps over here, so maybe... Nope. No one set off a TNT trap. Oh wait! Somebody did set off a TNT trap! <laughs> it got him! Perfect. Let me hop on down here. Oh, it's the witch! Excuse me? Not on my watch. Oh. Okay, so the TNT trap, one of them has been set off. I'm gonna quickly refill that. Okay. Oh no. And there we go. Oh, I set it off myself. I'm an idiot. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That'll be fine. What else do we have? Boots. I would love a new pair of boots. Thank you very much. Okay, let's hop up on that wall now. Okay, here they are. Excuse me, sir. You can't reach me. Oh. <laughs> Seems like they spawned over here. I'm gonna go see how big the raiding party actually is. Whoa, there's a witch! Okay, I don't really want this witch to be buffing them. There's two witches! Oh, I don't feel very safe on this lower wall, actually. Maybe this was a bad idea. I'm gonna try to just shoot at these witches. Look at them buffing! Oh my gosh! Okay, I'm kind of getting hurt down here. I'm gonna eat a golden apple real quick so that I have some buff too. Here we go. Whoa! What just happened? Some major explosions just went off. Wh hello? And you didn't get hurt by the explosions? What is this? How did you even get in? Okay. Whoa! Excuse me. Come. Come to my hallway of doom. Come! I want to try out this trap. <laughs> Come here. Are you following me? Are you following me? We're just gonna... Oh. So close, buddy! So close. Okay, I'll just have to kill you myself. That would have been fun, though. Now we have two raiders remaining. I think they're probably still over here. Yep, there's a witch. Okay, running away, though. <laughs> Please don't run away from me. Okay, they're going inside. Oh! <laughs> oh, it's so great every single time. It never gets bad. He, she did throw poison at me though, so that's not very fun. Where did the other one go? Oh gosh, poison is annoying. Ah, there she is. One final witch. And there we go. Next raiding party is upon us. Okay, 
Bells are ringing. I'm gonna get up on top of my wall again. I kind of like this vantage point. They seem to be all spawning near this side. So this is working out. Oh no, I don't see it. What if that means it's on the other side? My dog has joined me. Okay, you're gonna join me in the fight. Perfect. Oh no, they made it inside. This is not good. This is not good at all. Vex are so not fun. Biscuit, get him, Biscuit. <gasps> the Ravenger! No, 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 no. Okay, um, I don't, I'm not sure my gear is OP enough for this, but the Ravenger can't get through that doorway. So this might work in my advantage. Oh no, Biscuit, careful! Oh, I didn't expect them to all be in here. Oh, Biscuit, I'm sorry. Oh, Biscuit. Oh, dear. <laughs> That's tragic. Oh. <laughs> this is horrible. What have I done? Oh, my goodness. Stop it, you. No, 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 no. Oh, my gosh. I need some healing. I need an enchanted apple. Oh. Did you just get hurt? What is hurting you? Did they come upstairs? No, they didn't come up the stairs. I can hear Vex. I don't really like that I can hear Vex. <gasps> I see them! Perfect. I'm over here! Come on! What are you guys doing? Come on, come on! Whoop, okay. One more left. Brilliant. Okay. Next raiding party is coming. <gasps> oh boy. I'm gonna watch from this side. Okay, they didn't spawn over here this time. Maybe over here? <gasps> Whoa, excuse me. How did you get up the stairs so fast? No, 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 no. You can't kill my villagers. You can't kill them. Whoa. Did they make it up any further? Whoa. Not today, sir. No, thank you. I have to try to keep that villager alive. Where could the rest of them have gone? They're out there. Whoa, and right behind me. Excuse you. Okay, so they're in the back. That means they're probably gonna, yep, they're gonna use this entrance, okay. Thankfully, this entrance is actually rigged with a puffer fish, so they do take damage as they come in. Not enough damage though, sadly. There it is, oh, the beast. Oh no, hello, Mr. Ravenger. Hello, Mr. Ra come, come down here, come down here. I have a trap that I built just for you. Come, come, come. No, we're not coming. I wonder why not. <laughs> He's dying to the puffer fish. Excuse me. Oop, 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 oop. I take it back, I take it back, I take it back. He can't get down here. I don't really want him going up the stairs either, though. Come on, come on. You can't fit! You're too big because of the slab! Oh my gosh! What an amazing design that I never thought I intentionally made. Oh, you really hurt, buddy. Careful, 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 okay. <gasps> Did he just... Did you just break that? I didn't know that was a thing. Oh, these things are tough. Okay, I think that'll do that. I think I need some more, um, some more arrows. There we go. These ought to help. What a stressful time. Okay, I'm gonna bravely step my head out here. Make sure that there's no one else on the perimeter. I should really be using that back wall, but this is more fun. 
Come on. Whoa, there's another Ravager. That's not good. Okay, not sure what's going on here. I guess just going for a swim. Interesting. <laughs> come on. Come on. Out here. Seriously. Come on. This is not even a fair fight anymore. Alright. Oh my gosh. I did it. That was the last Ravenger. Oh my goodness. That was so much harder than I expected it to be. I hope I still have some villagers inside. Hello, villager. Oh my goodness. I saved you. <laughs> I did it! I don't know how I did it, but I did do it. Whoa. That was such a challenge. I ended up not going around and finding all of my armor, but I think upgrading even a little bit did help, and having the arrows definitely helped as well. Do I have any villagers up here still? Did you guys survive? Did anybody else survive? Oh gosh, I'm not very good at defending, am I? Oh hey! There's a survivor! Hello! Well, there we go. Some people did survive. I feel a lot better about that now. <laughs> at least the village is able to repopulate at this stage. There may even be more. That was so much fun. Thank you everyone for watching this video. I love building these fortresses and defending them from a raid makes it so much more fun because it means the fortress actually serves a function within the game, which is just so incredible. I really hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for supporting my channel. Goodbye everyone, enjoy the fortress! Let me know what you thought!